Welcome to Learning Science Channel, a platform that provides educational videos of various concepts which will help learners in gaining and understanding different fields of science like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. Before we proceed to our lesson, go ahead and hit the subscribe button Click the notification bell and smash the like button because it inspires us in making videos. You can also follow us on our official Facebook page, Learning Science Official, by clicking the link on the description down below. For today's video, you will learn about how do respiratory and circulatory systems work together. So, let's get started. Respiratory and circulatory system work together to circulate the blood throughout the body. Air moves to the lungs, through the nose, nasal passages, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles. Oxygen diffuses to the bloodstream and transported to the left chamber of the heart through the pulmonary veins. The heart pumps the blood to the other parts of the body. As the oxygen diffuses to the cells, the cells use oxygen to break down sugar to release energy. As a result, Carbon dioxide gases are produced as waste materials in the bloodstream. The carbon dioxide rich blood is delivered to the right portion of the heart through superior and inferior vena cava. The heart pumps the blood to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood to the alveoli and travels out of the body through bronchiole, bronchi, trachea, larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity, and nose. These processes continue as we breathe in air and out and as the heart pumps the blood. Without these coordinated functions of the respiratory and circulatory system, humans will surely die. And to better understand those concepts, we put a question and answer segment on this video. For question number one, how do the heart and lungs work together? The heart pumps the blood that transports the inhaled oxygen to every cell of the body. Carbon dioxide is given off and in this process and is carried by the blood to the lungs and released through exhalation. Question number two. What takes place when you inhale and exhale? Gas exchange happens when we inhale and exhale. We take in oxygen and emit carbon dioxide. For question number three, what does blood deliver to every part of the body? The blood delivers nutrients, oxygen, and other chemicals that are absorbed by the body. Fourth question, why is oxygen important to your body? Oxygen is important to our body because it processes the nutrients in the cell to make energy. And for the last one, describe the sequence of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood flow. Oxygen enters the respiratory system through inhalation and then it enters the bloodstream to be circulated throughout the body. Carbon dioxide from the tissues 
enter the blood, then to the lungs where it is exhaled. So this time, let us summarize everything with these following key concepts. Air enters your lungs and then into your left part of your heart. It is then driven by your heart into the bloodstream all the way through the body. The heart pumps the blood, which transports essential nutrients, oxygen, and other chemicals to every part of the body. Once it reaches the cells, oxygen processes the nutrients to, to release energy. Carbon dioxide is given off during this process. The blood delivers carbon dioxide into the right portion of your heart from which it is pumped by the lungs. Carbon dioxide leaves your body through the lungs when you exhale. And that is how respiratory and circulatory systems work together. It will be our pleasure if you learned something on the presentation. And if so, your participation will highly be appreciated by answering this question. What essential learnings do you get in this video? Feel free to write down below on the comment section your learnings after watching the video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give us a like. Enjoy learning!